Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's episode. We will be talking about the brand new but actually quite old breed, the Gatlin Pony. Its ancestors can be dated back to the Ice Ages. With its short body, narrow eyes, small ears, and hard hooves, this pony is perfectly adapted to the harsh terrains in which it has lived freely in isolation for many centuries on the Swedish islands. Like many other primitive breeds, it has great endurance, which it needs for foraging all day and surviving the long Scandinavian winters. But it also has a strong will and independence a horse needs these traits to survive in the wild, however, it can be mistaken for stubbornness in a riding horse. Being the only native pony to Sweden, farmers and other villagers would freely grab a horse when they needed it and could use it for working the fields or even mines. Occasional outcrosses were tried with other horses, like Arabians and Welsh ponies and Orientals. However, in spite of that, not much has changed about this breed. They are true survivors, these tough little guys. Because of their size, they are popular children's ponies. However, as mentioned before, they can have the tendency to be unruly and stubborn, and so they need proper training before teaching their own young students. Hitching them in front of a sulky and racing them in trot races is also a cherished sport. They're quite small. They stand at around 12 hands, which is about 125 centimeters, but also have a high color variety. Although solid colors like bay and black are the most common, chestnuts, buckskins, and palominos also occur quite often. To this day, there's still a small herd of around 80 horses living free on the Gotland Islands by Losta. Every so often, the yearlings are separated and sold just to protect the herd from overpopulation. But aside from the wild ponies of the moor, they are bred in central and south of Sweden. There's also an association in the USA. There's an estimated 6,000 ponies worldwide. I hope you have fun with your unique Gotland pony and feel free to write of your adventures in the comments. Have a great day now. Bye.